back to Jason Tuitions. We will continue with our chemical reactions and equations. In the previous classes, we stopped with the chemical reactions part and we studied about chemical equation, the characteristics of chemical reaction, what are the informations we have to add in a chemical equation and how to balance a chemical equation. So till that we have stopped and I told you in the previous video that I will be doing few more examples based on balancing the chemical equation. But I thought that after completing the lesson when I discuss the NCRT book back questions, I will be discussing the uh, balancing the equation, few more examples also. So I am moving on to the next topic, the types of chemical reaction. So today in this video we will be studying about the types of chemical reaction. The types of chemical reaction. In this, the first one we are going to study about combination reaction. What is meant by combination reaction? As the name says, it is combination. Okay. For example, if I take A, B, C, two or more reactants they will combine, they will undergo combination and they will form only one product. So two or more reactants combining together to form a single product is called as a combination reaction. So what is combination reaction? The reaction in which two or more reactants combine to form a single product is called combination reaction example First example, carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide. So carbon is one reactant, oxygen is another reactant. Two reactants are combining to form a single product. So it is an example for combination reaction. Okay, next example, H2 plus Cl2 gives 2 HCl. So hydrogen is one reactant, chlorine is another reactant. So hydrogen and chlorine is combining to form hydrogen chloride. So two reactants are combining to form a single product. So it is an example for combination reaction. Third one, nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to form ammonia. So nitrogen is one reactant, hydrogen is one reactant. These two reactants are combining to form ammonia, a single product. So it is an example for combination reaction. Fourth example is very important. Reaction between quicklime and water. Reaction between quick lime and water. The chemical name for quick lime is calcium oxide. So what is quick lime? Quick lime is nothing but calcium oxide. So how it reacts with water? H2O. This is a very important reaction. So how many calcium is there? One calcium. So I am writing it here. Here one oxygen. Here one oxygen. I have two oxygens. And here two hydrogens. Oxygen also two. Hydrogen also two. So oxygen and hydrogen together I am writing. And in the bracket I am putting and I am writing two. So one calcium, two oxygens and two hydrogens. During this reaction heat is 
released. During this reaction, heat is released. CaOH twice, it is nothing but calcium hydroxide or the other name for calcium hydroxide is slaked lime. It is called slaked lime. Okay, so when quick lime reacts with water, it forms calcium hydroxide that is slaked lime and heat. Okay, so as you can see, this is one reactant, this is another reactant. These two reactants are combining to form a single product. So it is an example for combination reaction. So when you do this in a beaker, you because of this heat, this heat is released, yes or no? So when you do this in a beaker, when you touch the outer side of the beaker, you can feel the heat okay so that is the observation for this equation so this what is the observation if they ask in one more question or anything you have to write so what is the observation the beaker becomes hot the beaker becomes hot okay because heat is released thus that's why the beaker becomes hot okay and the next one what they will ask is what is the application of this reaction what is the application of this reaction so it is used in application of this this fourth reaction okay so it is used in white washing it is used in white washing the CaO, this substance only is used in white washing. Okay. During white washing, what you will do? You will take this calcium oxide and you will mix it with water. You will get calcium hydroxide. This calcium hydroxide only you will be painting it on the walls okay so this what is the application of this equation this calcium oxide it is used in white washing during white washing it is mixed with water and it forms calcium hydroxide this calcium hydroxide is painted on the walls understood what is combination reaction and what is the observation for this reaction the beaker becomes hot why the beaker becomes hot because of the heat which is released during the reaction so these are some of the examples for combination reaction. Combination reaction means the react two or more reactants will combine and they will form a single product. Okay. So the next one is decomposition reaction. Decomposition reaction. So I will tell what is decomposition reaction. Suppose one reactant is there. ABC is the reactant. This reactant will break down to form two or more products. Here what is happening? Many reactants are combining to form a single product. Here only one reactant is there. It is breaking down to form two or more products. So how we can write the definition? A single reactant breaks down to form two or more products. Two or more products. So it is called as decomposition reaction. So you can see this decomposition reaction is exactly opposite to that of the combination reaction. So this they will ask as a question. Okay. Why? If they ask this question, you should be able to answer why decomposition reactions are considered opposite of combination reactions why decomposition reactions are considered opposite of combination reactions so how will you write the answer yes so in decomposition reaction a single reactant breaks down to form more products 
but in combination reaction two or more reactants combine to form single product that is why they are considered opposite to each other okay so how will you write in decomposition reaction i am writing it shortly a single reactant breaks to form two or more products but in combination reaction or more reactants combine to form a single product combine to form a single product then you have to write one example for decomposition reaction and you have to write one example for combination reaction so example for combination reaction i told you this is a very important equation the same equation i will write cao plus h2o gives caoh twice plus heat okay so for decomposition reaction i will write one example decomposition reaction okay CaCO3 calcium carbonate on heating it will form one calcium is there how many oxygens are there three oxygens are there in that only one oxygen i am going to write here remaining one carbon and two oxygens it will go outside as carbon dioxide so if they ask why decomposition reactions are opposite of combination reaction you have to write this answer and you have to give examples okay now coming to decomposition reactions this decomposition reaction we can divide it into three types so there are three types of decomposition reactions three types of decomposition reactions the first one is called as thermal decomposition the second one is called as photochemical decomposition or we can say photolytic decomposition and the third one is called as electrolytic decomposition thermal decomposition photochemical decomposition and electrolytic decomposition okay so first we will study what is thermal decomposition thermal decomposition so decomposition means what a single reactant will break to form two or more products thermal means it is heat so if the decomposition reaction takes place with the help of heat then it is called as thermal decomposition that means if a reactant is breaking with the help of heat then it is called thermal decomposition reaction so what is thermal decomposition reaction if the decomposition reaction if the decomposition reaction occurs by heat it is called thermal decomposition it is called thermal decomposition reaction so we will see some examples for thermal decomposition reaction first example the same example i can write calcium carbonate calcium carbonate if i heat it what will happen i told you here calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide is formed next one zinc carbonate zn co3 zinc carbonate also when you heat what will happen 
one zinc is there three oxygens are there in that one oxygen i will write here so i will get zinc oxide plus one carbon and remaining two oxygens we will get carbon dioxide okay so in the third example is decomposition of ferrous sulfate decomposition of ferrous sulfate ferrous sulfate what is the formula for ferrous sulfate f e s o 4 so this ferrous sulfate i am going to decompose this is an example for thermal decomposition so it will decompose in the presence of heat okay so 2 f e s o 4 so listen carefully for understanding purpose i am going to explain here 2 FeSO4. This 2 is common for everything. So 2 Fe is there. 2 sulfur is there. 2 fours are 8 oxygens are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 oxygens are there. So what is the what are the products I will get? So Fe2 plus Fe4 plus Fe5 plus Fe6 plus Fe7 plus Fe8 plus Fe9 plus Fe10 plus Fe11 plus Fe12 plus Fe13 plus Fe14 plus Fe15 plus Fe16 plus Fe17 plus Fe18 plus Fe19 plus Fe20 plus Fe21 plus Fe22 plus Fe23 plus Fe24 plus Fe25 plus Fe26 plus Fe27 plus Fe28 plus Fe29 plus Fe30 plus Fe31 plus Fe32 plus Fe33 plus Fe34 plus Fe35 plus Fe36 plus Fe37 plus Fe38 plus Fe39 plus Fe40 plus Fe41 plus Fe42 plus Fe43 plus Fe44 plus Fe45 plus Fe46 plus Fe47 plus Fe48 plus Fe49 plus Fe50 plus Fe51 plus Fe52 plus Fe53 plus Fe54 plus Fe55 plus Fe56 plus Fe57 plus Fe58 plus Fe59 plus Fe60 plus Fe70 plus Fe71 plus Fe72 plus Fe73 plus Fe74 plus Fe75 plus Fe76 plus Fe77 plus Fe78 plus Fe79 plus Fe80 plus Fe81 plus Fe82 plus Fe83 plus Fe84 plus Fe85 plus Fe86 plus Fe87 plus Fe88 plus Fe89 plus Fe90 plus Fe91 plus Fe92 plus Fe93 plus Fe94 plus Fe95 plus Fe96 plus Fe97 plus Fe98 plus Fe99 plus Fe10 plus Fe11 plus Fe12 plus Fe13 plus Fe14 plus Fe15 plus Fe16 plus Fe17 plus Fe18 plus Fe19 plus Fe20 plus Fe21 plus Fe22 plus Fe23 plus Fe24 plus Fe25 plus Fe26 plus Fe27 plus Fe28 plus Fe29 plus Fe30 plus Fe31 plus Fe32 plus Fe33 plus Fe34 plus Fe35 plus Fe36 plus Fe37 plus Fe38 plus Fe39 plus Fe40 plus Fe41 plus Fe42 plus Fe43 plus Fe44 plus Fe45 plus Fe46 plus Fe47 plus Fe48 plus Fe49 plus Fe50 plus Fe51 plus Fe52 plus Fe53 plus Fe54 plus Fe55 plus Fe56 plus Fe57 plus Fe58 plus Fe59 plus Fe60 plus Fe70 plus Fe71 plus Fe72 plus Fe73 plus Fe74 plus Fe75 plus Fe76 plus Fe77 plus Fe78 plus Fe79 plus Fe80 plus Fe81 plus Fe82 plus Fe83 plus Fe84 plus Fe85 plus Fe86 plus Fe87 plus Fe88 plus Fe89 plus Fe90 plus Fe91 plus Fe92 plus Fe93 plus Fe94 plus Fe95 plus Fe96 plus Fe97 plus Fe98 plus Fe99 plus Fe100 plus Fe101 plus Fe102 plus Fe103 plus Fe104 plus Fe105 plus Fe106 plus Fe107 plus Fe108 plus Fe109 plus Fe110 plus Fe111 plus Fe112 plus Fe113 plus Fe114 plus Fe115 plus Fe116 plus Fe117 plus Fe118 plus Fe119 plus Fe120 plus Fe121 plus Fe122 plus Fe123 plus Fe124 plus Fe125 plus Fe126 plus Fe127 plus Fe128 plus Fe129 plus Fe130 plus Fe131 plus Fe132 plus Fe133 plus Fe134 plus Fe135 plus Fe136 plus Fe137 plus Fe138 plus Fe139 plus Fe140 plus Fe141 plus Fe142 plus Fe143 plus Fe144 plus Fe145 plus Fe146 plus Fe147 plus Fe148 plus Fe149 plus Fe150 plus Fe151 plus Fe152 plus Fe153 plus Fe154 plus Fe155 plus Fe156 plus Fe157 plus Fe158 plus Fe159 plus Fe160 plus Fe170 plus Fe171 plus Fe172 plus Fe173 plus Fe174 plus Fe173 plus Fe174 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 plus
I will get 4 NO2 gas. 4 NO2 means 4 N. Okay, and then 4 2s are 8 oxygens. 8 oxygen, if it goes remaining, I will be having 2 oxygens. These 2 oxygens will be obtained as O2. So, these are the products we will get when you decompose lead nitrate. When you decompose lead nitrate. Okay. So, what is the observation here? This NO2 gas, it is a reddish brown gas. Okay. So, this NO2 gas is a reddish brown gas. Okay. So, when you heat this lead nitrate, what will happen? Because of this gas, the test tube will turn into brownish color. The test tube will turn into brown color because of the formation of this gas. Okay, so that is the observation. Okay, the test tube reddish brown gas is evolved. Reddish brown gas is evolved. Okay, so you can see the test tube is turning into reddish brown color. Understood? What are what is thermal decomposition reaction? Decomposition reaction, what what is decomposition reaction you have understood? Yes, and why decomposition reactions are considered opposite of combination reactions? And the three types of decomposition reaction, one is thermal decomposition, photochemical decomposition and electrolytic decomposition. In that we have studied what is thermal decomposition. In thermal decomposition, we have seen four examples. This third example is very very important in thermal decomposition. Okay. So, photochemical and electrolytic decomposition, I will be continuing in the next video. Okay. So, if you want online tuitions, you can uh, contact me in this mail ID or WhatsApp number. Or if you are staying in Chennai and if you want to come directly to the tuition also, you can come directly if you are staying anywhere in Chennai. Okay. And you can share this video uh, with your friends if you understood this. Okay. I hope you have allotted the notebooks also for writing the notes. Okay. So, if you like this video, you please share and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much.